Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Hendrik and in this video we will show you how to get rid of unnecessary peripherals in control room environments. We will go through the application and we will show you how to configure that by the web interface of digital KVM matrix switches. But first, let's start with the application. If we are talking about more control with less peripherals, we can divide it up into two steps. Step one is what we call trade switching and an extension to that is step two, which we call cross display switching. We will show you both and now let's go for the application. Taking a look now at the application, we have our control room environment here. We have the operations up here and we have the technical area down here. What we did is to move out all the computers in that technical area. The computers are connected to the central digital matrix by those CPU modules. On the other hand side, on the operation side, we have two operators and each of the operator workplaces is equipped with one, two, three monitors and one, two, three sets of keyboard and mouses. Those peripherals are connected to the console modules and of course they are connected to the central matrix switch itself. So each of the operators now can go for any of those computers and operate them on his screens. Well now, if the operator has to react quickly, he might get messed up with all those keyboards and mouses. And of course, the desk is cluttered. So the idea of trade switching or cross display switching is to get rid of those unnecessary peripherals and operate the complete workplace with only one keyboard and one mouse, but of course with three monitors because the operator has to supervise the processes all the time. So let's see now how the configuration is done and how a workplace could look in real life. And here we are with our matrix system and if I open up the menu tree here with the CCD and the matrix switches, I'll find our control center digital. I right click on it and go for the configuration. And the matrix switch configuration window opens and here we have the trade switch key modifier which should be set. And if you pay attention to the tab workplaces, you will see that right now I cannot choose it. So if I go for the trade switch key modifier, which in our case should be ALT, and I click it, I will have only the numbers available for the different DVI-CON modules, and now my tab workplaces gets enabled. But let me apply that first. Now let's go for the workplaces, and we want to add a new workplace, our Operator 1 workplace, so I click on it, and I name it Operator 1. Well, there's no need to do a command. Okay, so here my Operator 1 workplace is. And now I'm going to edit it because I want to assign some workplace members. That is done here. And as it says here, please double click on the field column keys to assign a key. Well, we want to use the ALT key as the first one, and here is my console left, which I would like to get by the number one. Here is my console middle, which I would like to get by number two, and my console right by number three. So in the way they are arranged on the desk, I now numbered them, <coughs> and of course I have to define a master. Master means the place where my keyboard and mouse is connected to, and our keyboard and mouse should be connected to the very left one. So that's it. I apply that functionality. Okay. And well, that's pretty much all we have to do to enable the trade switching. 
Let's get back to our live application now to see if it is working. Now let's see the result of our configuration here in our application. Keyboard mouse focus is now switched to console left and you see I can take the window and of course operate it the way you want to operate it. If I now press Alt and 2 and I release it, I am switched over to console middle. You see keyboard mouse focus is here now on my console middle and that is a way I can go for all the three console modules with one keyboard and one mouse. To better indicate where I'm switched to, I have those beautiful LEDs here on top of the monitor, the trade switch LEDs and if I switch back now to console left by pressing Alt and 1 and release both, you see the indicator change. And my keyboard mouse focus is back here on console left. Well, that's already pretty nice, but if you like it more convenient, or let's better say more intuitive, we come to cross display switching. And what cross display switching can do for us is that you do not need to do that switching by keyboard hotkey, but you can do it by simply moving the mouse over the screen and as soon as the mouse reaches the border of the screen, it will switch over to the next monitor. But first, we have to do some configuration on that. Well, here we are again with the web interface of Control Center Digital. And I open up the configuration dialog and go for workplaces where we already had been working before with a trade switch functionality. <clears throat> well, here is our operator workplace number one. I select it and I go for editing that workplace. My assigned workplace members are here and what I now have to tell the system in the section of cross display switching is how the monitors are arranged in my real application. So I can mark the consoles, my three consoles, forming that operator one workplace by clicking on the first one and pressing the control key in addition and just switch them over by using that arrow key. And you see it did already right because that is the default configuration. I have my console left on the left side, my console right on the right side and my console middle in the middle. Of course, you could also arrange them another way, for example, like this. But then the mouse transitions between the screens will not fit to yeah, your real application and that will not be intuitive. So let's do it the way we have it on our desk and that is this way. I apply that now and I give it an OK. And so the system now knows, Control Center Digital knows how the screens are arranged. We have to do something more to enable cross display switching because in, in default it is disabled as you see here. So in the tab general we have to give it an enabled and you see that that slider here for the mouse speed gets enabled. If we're doing that cross display switching thing we're taking over the mouse speed so no longer the operating system is controlling it. Well, having done that, apply, OK. That's pretty much all you need to do to make that switch over by simply moving the mouse working. And now let's get back to our live application to see what it can do for us. So we configured everything which needs to be configured and let's see how it works now. My keyboard mouse focus, as you see from the indicator, is on console left. Here we are. And if I now slowly move over the mouse to the right side, as soon as I reach the border, you will see keyboard mouse focus switches over to console middle. And now I'm here on console middle without any hotkey or whatever, indicated by the little LED. Doing that backwards again, here we are with the mouse and if I move it over, 
you see we're on console left again. Well, that's the most intuitive way to operate a number of computers or console modules with only one keyboard and only one mouse and well, you don't need to keep any hotkeys in mind, so quite intuitive. That was the trade switching together with the cross display switching and I would like to thank you for your attention and see you next time again.